a lot of times with the ceremony, we usually start background music over here. But like today, we're going to be starting it over in the dance portion or where the cocktail area is going to be. Once everybody's here, we can jump on the microphone and say, hey, ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony is going to start here in about five and ten minutes. If you guys want to grab your drinks, because it is hot, head over to the ceremony site. Once everybody's over there, we'll begin the ceremony. The bride and groom are going to line up. So then we can have a smooth transition from this area over to the ceremony site. Once the ceremony is done, the uh, officiant will give closing regards. Sometimes they forget and when sometimes it's a lot if they're not a professional because they don't do this week in and week out. So once everybody's walked out, I kill the music. Hey guys, just a quick reminder, if you're part of the family, I need you to stay here for photos. Everyone else, please gather in the cocktail area, grab your guys a set of drinks. Brian and Groom are gonna sign the marriage license and they'll join you here in about 45 minutes. And see, these are little things to help move the event along and make it seem like it wasn't a mistake. This is the way that it was supposed to be and a professional is gonna know when to jump on the microphone and when to take the lead. It's, it's, a, it's a dance between the efficient, the planner, there's a lot of different people that wanna be in control and we try to inject ourselves when needed. All right, so after the ceremony is done, we're gonna move into cocktail hour and one of the most important, important announcements that nobody thinks of, hey DJ, where's the bathroom at? So the very first thing I do is, hey, my name is Alex. I'm gonna be your entertainer for the evening. We have our bathrooms over in this area. We have a designated smoking area over here. This is where you guys can get water. Hey, by the way, go see, we have a sign seating. We have a dinner chart over here. I don't want anybody to go, hey, you know that common question, what is it? I wanna make sure everybody knows exactly what's going on. And I have a lot of people like, why do I need an MC during cocktail hour? They're just playing background music. Photographer comes up. Hey, we have the whole family, but we need Billy. We can't take this photo until we have Billy. Well, Billy's over in the bathroom. He's over on the car. Instead of going around having somebody find him, we can jump on the microphone, find him right away, send him over to the photographer, and then we can move on to the next set of events. The way that we like to make announcements is I like to make announcements every five minutes. So 15 minutes before event, I have a 15 minute announcement, then I have a 10 minute, then I have a five minute. So it goes something like this. Hey guys, here in about 15 minutes, we're gonna be moving into the grand entrance. If you guys could all find your seats. If you're not sure where you're seated, go look on the seating chart, find your guys' seats. Here in about 15 minutes, we'll be moving into the grand entrance. Then I'll do one for five, for 10 minutes, and then I'll do one for five minutes. And then right before the event, I'll go grab the photographer, the videographer, the planner, make sure we got the right order. I'm not gonna do anything without everybody being on the same page and everybody knows all the cues and exactly what's gonna happen. So they're like, oh my God, we're not ready. Why are you bringing people in? That is not fun after. This is no redos on certain events. So I like to have an open line of communication so everything runs as smoothly as possible. So when we move into dinner, one of the most important things is who's eating? A lot of people don't know when to eat. The bride and groom are sitting there. They don't know that they're supposed to get up. Is the planner gonna bring them food or do they need to get up and go jump in the dinner line? Do they need to take their plates with them? Are the plates at the table just a filler plate? So these are little things that we like to find out before we do the grand entrance. There's nothing worse than getting ready to do the grand entrance, we bring the bride and groom in and we go, all right, everybody, we're gonna start lining up people for dinner. Dinner's not ready for another 30 minutes. So these are things that we make sure when we do the grand entrance. It seems like a simple event, but there's like 20 different things that we need to make sure all line up. So that way, when we get on the microphone, make those announcements, those events can happen seamlessly. So before we get to the wedding, we like to find out who is all giving toast and speeches and we have it on our form. That way we can communicate with the planner, hey, these are the order that we're gonna be giving the toast and speeches. Can you make sure that everybody's lined up? Can you go grab everybody, put them off in the corner and we're gonna come over there and have a conversation. Me as a wedding DJ, MC, I know how to talk on this microphone properly. Most people don't, it's down here, it's over here, we're going over here, so I tell people, Grab it around right here, hold it up right here. It's like ice cream cone, but just don't lick it. Nobody likes that guy. So 
So what we're gonna do is teach them how to speak on the microphone so that way everybody has a pleasant experience and they can hear them properly. So with our company, we have two wireless microphones and we also have a backup wired mic. So what we'll do is we'll give the microphone to somebody speaking. They can hold it on the table. So at this particular wedding, we're like 100 feet away. Imagine me going back and forth, back and forth, adjusting the volume. That would be nearly impossible. So we usually put it on a mic stand over there so they can stand up to it be nice and close because we always have that dad you guys can hear me i don't need this no we can jump on the microphone and say hey dad please speak on the microphone i know you want to rock star this moment but we need you to stay on task to make sure that everybody can hear the volume correctly so when the dad does that we just know hey that's nervous energy it's this big moment it's time for him to shine so we like to make sure that we know the order of toast so that way we can call everybody up by their name and then you can introduce your relation to the bride and groom and then you can give your speech pro tip when you're doing your walkthrough just ask hey who's giving a speech who's giving a toast can you guys please clip it to five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes because no one's ever gave a 45 minute wedding speech by one person dad happens at every wedding just example we had a grandfather was giving a blessing blessing 30 seconds no it turned into 30 minutes because it was grandpa's time to be a rock star didn't save it for speeches we were already 15 minutes behind for dinner and it was another 30 minutes when he was giving his speech it's not gonna happen it's more common than you guys think and just know these are things that we have to deal with and be prepared for so one of the things that we like to do or what I call a best practice is we like to make sure everybody knows when everything's going to happen. When's the first dance? Is it right after the grand entrance or it's later on in the evening? So one of the most important things is having an open line of communication with all the people that we are working with. We also like to communicate with the catering company because they're usually the ones serving beverages and alcohol. And a lot of times they have a cutoff or a limit. So we like to have an open line of communication with them to see, hey, what announcements do you have me to make? Oh, by the way, we're ending alcohol at 930. We have a party bus that's coming at 945 for the first run. Let them know that the grandparents are going on that one and everybody else can get the party bus that's coming at 10 o'clock. So there's a little bit of announcements that we need to know about and that we make sure that we execute them at the proper times. Now we have an online planning form where we like to get all these details um, beforehand, but it's not the only case. There's so many different people coming together and they like to add little announcements and little details last minute.